Hello everyone and welcome to this video where today I will be showing you 27 garden ideas for Minecraft 1.13. Now, um, I just want to mention that these uh, decoration ideas are just here to inspire you. So don't expect any kind of tutorial or something. I'm just going to show you the ideas and uh, you can get inspired for your own garden builds. Now, um, yeah, let's just get straight into this. So, for our first few ideas, we are in the, what I like to call the natural section, alright? Uh, lots of plants, trees, and bushes around here. Uh, so that's why I, call it, why I kind of call it the natural section, alright? Now, the first thing in the natural section is uh, right this field of wheat right here. And, uh, right? What would a field of wheat be without a scarecrow, right? So, uh, that's why I built this scarecrow right here. It's uh, super simple. Just uh, requiring a few fences, some blocks, some strings to hold up the carpet for the hat and a slab right there. Just super simple stuff, right? Uh, you could even even swap out some of these blocks right here. Uh, you could say uh, you could use a jack o' lantern instead of a pumpkin or uh, anything else instead of the hay bill. But yeah, it's uh, most uh, most of it is pretty straightforward. And it's just uh, decorate up your wheat field fields uh, or even other crop fields like uh, let's say uh, you have some carrots would do fine too. Alright, now let's move on to the next idea which is um, it's a kind of classic like it's, um, it's a pile of logs. Alright, <laughs> it's super simple. Just some logs just chucked in <laughs> onto, on top of one another with some rails right over the top just to uh, you know kind of uh, make it look like they're held together by the rails, suggesting like some ropes, I don't know, uh, but you see it a lot, but it's so simple, <laughs> and it's so effective actually, it's, yeah, it just really adds something. Now onto the subject of logs being around in your garden, you can also make a bit of a tree, well this one is uh, kind of broken and uh, fallen into the pond, but uh, yeah, so this is just a stem, just still remaining with some roots. And uh, the rest of the tree is right here, just uh, fallen over, kind of uh, suggesting like uh, gravity took it down. Um, maybe the tree was uh, sick or it was even uh, cut down by a human being, actually. We don't know. Now, the last three ideas were, well, kind of small, you know. Um, so if you actually want something a little bit bigger right in your garden, uh, just to fill it up and uh, make it look a, bit, a, bit, a little bit uh, cooler, you could also make something like a greenhouse, you know? Yeah. So, uh, right, this one is uh, pretty small. You could make it uh, as big as you want or as small as you want, but I think you shouldn't want to go any smaller than this uh, since I already struggled with the space right here. As you can see, I tried to go a little bit uh, creative with the uh, trapdoors holding the water to hydrate the farmland, uh, <laughs> which, strangely enough, it works. Um, decorate it with some uh, flower pots, some leaves. Uh, even on the outside too to make it extra green because yeah, it's a greenhouse after all now uh, the design for this greenhouse. I went with uh, some dark oak um, Yeah, it's a pretty straightforward a frame like structure with some uh, difficult uh, stair maneuvers right up here Yeah, also used some slabs every now and then it's uh, making it looks kind of complicated But it really isn't that complicated if you take a close look at it, but yeah it's just a bit of a bigger thing to just help fill up your garden. Now, our next idea actually adds some function right into the decoration because this is actually a signpost, right? Uh, really simple. You can actually see it's a signpost because of, there are signs on top of it. But uh, I made this one a little bit um, more complicated than just a fence with a sign on top of it, uh, just uh, for the extra extra beauty um, yeah why you can probably tell why this is functional uh, it's showing some uh, directions like the greenhouses are right here and uh, um, an imaginary town is right in there uh, and the wheat fields are right that way of course um, well this is very useful if you have a base on a multiplayer server and uh, your friends are coming around um, and they have no clue where to go because like you know your base so you probably know where your stuff is but they don't and that's why this signpost is so useful for them so they can just easily take a look at the signpost like oh I have to go right there and then and they go right there so that just adds 
something. Um, and of course, it just looks nice anyway. Now, moving on from that idea, we have uh, a bit of a pun right here. Uh, I've shown it um, early in the video already when the, I showcased the tree, which fell into the point, uh, into the pond. But uh, yeah, right here is a little bit of a closer look of this pond um, with some sand at the bottom, some coral on top of it. I've used some uh, brain and some bubble uh, corals, uh, the plants and the fans. Uh, also some sea grass, some sea pickles to light it up at night even. Uh, there's some tropical fish right in here. Uh, it is all very possible in survival. You just only need some silk touch for the coral. But uh, let's say you don't have any coral. It will do fine without. It's just uh, to add some extra color in there. Um, yeah, seagrass is pretty easy to come by. Just pop a shear around at any seagrass and you'll get it. Uh, I've also used some sandstone slabs right in there. Just for some extra layered 3D effect. But yeah, this pond is just very decorative. Uh, even finished off with some rocks at the side and some sugarcane, just to uh, make it, yeah, right, a little bit more uh, decorative than it already is. So yeah, what's what what can be possibly better than standing right here watching how this pond and how the fishes are doing their thing? Well, that's of course to sit. Um, so that's why I have made this bench right here. Um, yeah, it's a super simple thing. You can make it as complicated or as simple as you like it, but yeah, just the general idea of a bench, it's it's pretty, it's pretty logical. You would place a bench in your garden somewhere, um, because you see it in real life too. Any park probably has a bench, uh, which has most likely has um, some trash cans right next to them. So I also decided to just add in some trash cans right here, which are even functional. Like let's say I throw some grass in. Uh, which I don't need I can just throw it in it will just stay in there just close the lid and uh, what well, it just despawns <laughs> eventually I believe it's like uh, five minutes or something <laughs> until it despawns but yeah it will so yeah that's pretty good I finally got a way to get rid of your trash in your survival world <laughs> on a safe way so uh, you don't uh, lose your items instantly if you throw them in say you throw your sword in that wouldn't be good <laughs> But yeah, just uh, simple ideas right here, a bench and a trash can. So yeah, well that is that. Now another simple idea to just decorate your garden a little bit is uh, using some fences. You can even add some torches on there for some lighting, but we'll get to lighting later. Um, but yeah, for now just the fence. Um, yeah, pretty simple. <laughs> um, you could even make it a little bit more complicated by uh, making an entire wall out of it. Like this one is made from cobblestone. It's just kind of a cobblestone mess actually. It's just stairs, slabs, walls and normal blocks just thrown about together. Uh, forming this uh, kind of wall right here. Uh, which is pretty decorative. Um, and actually kind of functional too. I suppose it could keep some mobs away. Uh, but yeah like you could jump right over here so don't trust it very well uh you could make this one this one's made out of cobblestone you could make it out of anything right over there i got one out of some brick blocks uh, which is also a cool idea um i've built that one a little bit more uh, well let's say finished kind of uh, this one is kind of broken uh, that one is more like standing still <laughs> Um, and I've right over here got one made out of stone bricks, uh, which is even straighter <laughs> than that one. Um, also making it look a bit stronger, like this is actually a wall you could trust to keeping the mobs out. This one would do a generally good job. Now, um, it's, you could make walls, you could also make walls out of leaves. <laughs> like I did here. Uh, these are supposed to be some, uh, some, uh, yeah, some custom crop ideas, kind of. Um, yeah, I don't really know what you could make out of it, but yeah, I don't know. Just uh, some custom crops, like, uh, just also, uh, just a little bit more interesting than just the standard crops in Minecraft. Uh, but yeah, just to add something. Now, our next few ideas are all built around lighting, okay? Uh, lighting is an important thing in Minecraft, um, because if you don't light up your builds correctly, 
uh, mobs will be spawning all over it and of course that's the last thing you want uh, now in the garden there is going to be different ways of lighting now the simplest method is just to uh, grab a torch and just uh, chuck it at the floor and just spam torches all over that's of course not really a fancy thing now to make the torch spam method a little bit more fancier quite literally because of the fences um, but you can just smack a torch right on top of a fence and uh, yeah that would also do the trick just make sure not to spam it because spamming torches is not really great <laughs> most likely um, another thing you can do with torches is just to hide them right underneath the carpet um, it's it's pretty functional uh, oh actually I will make it nighttime So you can see here, yeah, right? Uh, it's actually emitting light. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Now, another way, a uh, little bit similar to this, is actually by just, uh, yeah, having some glowstone or anything underneath a leaf, anything that emits light underneath a leaf, which will also just work. Um, or you could just have some jack-o'-lanterns with their faces right into some leaves, so you don't see that as much. Um, right in. Uh, to just shine right and that will also work you can also of course combine a few methods um, also might be worth it now uh, instead of these lighting methods which are actually just like really really functional lighting methods you also have the more decorative lighting methods like um, yeah torches well not those torches but pulse torches with actual fire on some netherrack to make it infinitely burn uh, this is very simple just some stone rick stairs stacked on top of one another um, and uh, yeah just surrounding the thing uh, this one being exactly the same just on a little bit higher up um, position this one is just some kind of hanging lantern i've used a seal lantern right here you could use anything you could use some glowstone or um, i don't know even a magma block <laughs> if you really want um, yeah this one is a little bit more complicated than the last two uh, since it uses some slabs stairs and it's somewhat of an arced shape uh, but yeah the hopper and the iron bar holding up the lantern itself uh, yeah pretty cool now another hanging thing is this one this one is a little bit more expensive since it uses hoppers and also um, anvils which use iron quite a lot of iron so if you have <laughs> lots of iron in your survival then yeah sure go ahead build this one uh, if not uh, yeah you could just better keep this one for in creative but i just wanted to show you something a little bit more let's call it modern since these are a little bit more like medieval somewhat <laughs> and this one is a bit more like you know a little bit more modern now yeah, well, that's about it for the lighting, actually. Another cool idea for in your garden is a fountain, right? Uh, there's different ways to make fountains. Uh, right here, we got a little bit of a round-ish design, like as far as circles in Minecraft go. Um, yeah, right? So I've used different kinds of stone, some, some stone slabs, some cobblestone, and some stone bricks right here. Uh, even some walls, I've used different stairs and slabs right there too, and some water just flowing down right from there, and even from these walls, which are just water lock walls actually, uh, just making it uh, yeah look a little bit different um, than uh, yeah kind of unique than other fountains you might see, right? You can, uh, of course, come up with anything you kind of want, but, right? This one is kind of big, so maybe you have a little bit of a smaller garden, but you still want a fountain. That's no problem. I got uh, kind of the same as I did right over here, uh, right over there, but then just a tiny bit smaller. Uh, yeah, same block palette as that one, but just, yeah, just smaller, actually. Uh, this one has a completely different shape. It's, uh, yeah, it's like an oval instead of a circle. Very, very different. And it just posts uh, with some water at the top flowing down. And, yeah, that, that's kind of it. It's almost a, as if the water is actually coming out of the posts of cobblestone walls. But, of course, it isn't because it's Minecraft. But, you know, you could kind of make it look like it. But, yeah, it does, once again, use the same palette. Like, you could just go... 
uh, use a completely different palette. I don't know, you could use quartz, um, even iron blocks, I don't know. Uh, something blue at the floor instead of stone bricks or uh, even uh, any other color you want You can really make it as simple or as crazy as you want it now Not only can you make fountains also you can make any other kind of type of decoration now uh, I don't know right. I just made a pickaxe being held up by this uh, stone brick thing right here um, Yeah, it's a really kind of simple thing, but yeah once again, it just really adds something uh, you could even give it a little bit of a name right down here, like it is as some kind of statue or something. Uh, but yeah, it's just something different than your uh, standard statue. Um, yeah, right, this is supposed to represent uh, any kind of normal statue. I just uh, went for some cherries. I don't know why cherries, but it was kind of the first thing that came to my mind when I was trying to come up with ideas. Uh, yeah, like you could build a silly structure, silly statue like uh, cherries um, or any other type of fruit. You could also just make uh, something a little bit more serious like uh, a dragon. I don't know. Uh, also, I came up with this uh, bird right here. Uh, yeah, right. It's it's kind of looking angry. So <laughs> angry birds. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's sitting on this. Uh, well, I don't know. Branch. I don't know. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, just a thing, but you could also just build it out of ground. You could build anything as I said uh, just uh, Use your fantasy to make something you could even make a non-existing creature as a statue would work fine now a thing which I did with the bird was I used different types of materials like uh, I used some cobblestone and I used some normal andesite and the polished version. I used some uh, some regular smooth stone right there, and uh, some stone bricks, of, uh, some stone slabs, that's what they're called. Uh, yeah, you could even use stone bricks now, I think about it, but... Uh, right, cobblestone has uh, stairs and slabs, uh, many other blocks don't have, as for right now, they will have in 1.14, which is great. Uh, but yeah, since this, is, this video is 1.13, um, I have yet done that, but... Right, in the future you will be able to do that, which is a great thing. So keep that in mind when you're planning to build a statue. Um, yeah, it just really adds something to use different kinds of materials throughout your statue. Just mix it a bit, making it look a little bit more interesting. But yeah, that's as far as goes for statues and other objects like fountains and set, etc. Now... The last few ideas that I've set up right here are just uh, situated around uh, your terrace, alright? So, uh, this is supposed to be uh, some little terrace that I built. It's, 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 yeah, right? It's just imagine a house being right here, all fancy, all nicely decorated and everything. Um, <laughs> like an actual house. Uh, you have this uh, thing actually going straight into the wall almost. Um, Serving as some sun blocking uh, mechanism uh, using these uh, fence gates right here, which are really easy to place. Um, you, you don't have to place them on a block anymore, which is, uh, yeah, you used to need to have a support block and then later remove that. You don't need that anymore, so that's really easy to place. And yeah, just some pillars, um, kind of support beams, although you don't need them, it's just extra decoration. Uh, a frame of stone bricks right around it with even some little chairs right in here where you can sit on right now Not only do we have these chairs. We also have uh, these chairs which uh, are supposed to be uh, like beds where you can uh, lie on and uh, enjoy the Sun although um, the Sun is kind of uh, blocked by this uh, little parasol here, but uh, that's all gonna be fine um, Yeah, so if you're enjoying the nice weather you can also be having a barbecue, um, which I tried to build right here uh, using this uh, furnace. If you would actually put something inside of the furnace, you could actually make it burn, make it look like you're barbecuing something. Uh, I've got a little bit of an, uh, a little bit of sneaky thing right here. It's actually an iron frame having a uh, stake right inside of it, uh, hidden by the iron pressure plate. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit glitchy if you go above. And if you stand on top of it, it will be always pressed down. But um, it's it's not really supposed to be happening. But it's cool anyway. 
uh, with some uh, yeah some tables where you could put some stuff uh, yeah so you can uh, throw a barbecue party and uh, that barbecue party of course is not complete without a jacuzzi so uh, that's why I built a jacuzzi in here with some uh, bubble columns so you can actually have some bubbles in your jacuzzi uh, pretty nice just uh, yeah another thing to just uh, yeah have around your terrace right well that were all the 27 garden ideas for uh, Minecraft 113 uh, I would say uh, thank you all so much for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah I uh, I hope I catch you in the next one bye